Uh, let's stay with politics because former President John Dramani Mahama has launched an attack on his uh, fellow contenders who are contending him for the NDC flag bearership position and questioning their capability to lead the NDC. Now, according to him, uh, the only reason why he's putting himself up for re-election is because neither Dr. Kwabana Dufour nor Kwajobunsu can lead the NDC to snatch power from the governing NPP. Uh, addressing delegates in the Yellow Krobo constituency in the Eastern Region, John Mahama also said he's the only candidate that gives the NPP sleepless nights. Now, let's go onto the phone lines now and speak to our Eastern Regional Correspondent, uh, Edwin Kofi Sian, who has been following the president on that particular trip. Uh, uh, we'll bring him so we can have, uh, the, you know, uh, the details of this particular uh, tour. But let's uh, go for some reactions. Uh, we're joined on via Zoom by the campaign spokesperson of Dr. Kwabana Dufour, uh, uh, one of the contenders in the NDC presidential race, Antonio Edem. A senior grateful that you could join us here. Now, first, what is your reaction to John Mahama saying that your candidate, even if he uh, is elected, has, doesn't have the capacity to lead the NDC to snatch power from the MPP? Um, thank you very much, and a very good evening to your viewers. Um, the former president claim cannot be taken serious, and why do I say so? Mm. Permit me some time to walk you through the former president's electoral history with the MPP. It's important to note that the former president is the luckiest politician the country has ever experienced. He's been a member of parliament, he's been a deputy minister, a minister, vice president, and president. He's worked hard for the party and the country, and has benefited from the perks of his work including taking his ex Grasha. Mm -hmm. That notwithstanding, the former president went into the 2020, 2012 election unopposed. He became the leader of the party without a contest. His first electoral victory ended up in the Supreme Court, even though we won it. As head of state in 2016, he contested with the MPP, and even with the power vested in him as the mm -hmm. commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, he lost, embarrassingly, the biggest defeat in Ghana's history ever, close to one million votes. Note, he was the head of state. He was a certain president. The MPP defeated him, the biggest defeat ever. That election, as president, again, he was unable to even collate his own results as presidential candidate for the NDC. Let's look at 2012. No, 2020. The NDC took a chance on the former president, and he went to contest the same MPP that he says are afraid of him. He lost close to 500,000 votes. It's important to note, again, in the history of the Fourth Republic, the total sum of the presidential election is always more than that of the parliamentary. But in 2020, the NDC's parliamentarians got more votes than the former president. In fact, let me state, 118 constituencies got parliamentary candidates, got more votes than the flag bearer, which is the former president. Mm. Let me use that as an example. The NDC in 2016 had four parliamentary candidates or MPs. In 2020, we had 13. Yet, the presidential candidate lost all and only, had, only won four constituencies in the central region, even when he had his running mate from the central region. Clearly, the former president, respectfully, is a spent force, and I, he sought to um, equate the Economic Intelligence Unit report or their forecast of the 2024 election on the MPP. That's not it. The Economic Intelligence Unit is a London-based research group, and they've always gotten they are like they are forecast of our election correctly. What they are forecasting for the 2024 election is for the NDC to have a new face and that will improve our chances should we present a new face like Dr. Kabna Dufour, who is experienced, capable, and can be trusted to lead us. Mm. That change or that new face can only revitalize the prospects of the NDC in the 2024 election. That is the fact. That's not an MPP claim. That is the Economic Intelligence Unit's claim. And it's important that uh, we put these records um, straight. The former president. So, has so, so, so your point NDC is that even if even if he is elected to lead the NDC, there is no possibility of him winning power for the party. I am not saying that. The former president sought to say that MPP people are moving around saying that the NDC should bring a new face because they are scared of him. I've given you the former president's electoral history with the MPP. Mm. We suggest that the MPP sees him as the easiest candidate to beat at the polls. And I'm also suggesting to you that the Economic Intelligence Unit's report, we suggest that the NDC has a chance of winning the 2024 election. With a new face. face. Mm. That will revitalize the base of the party. And indeed, the former president with experience and that of the new candidate will be the M MPP easily. So it will have been better for the former president to be the elder of the party, which you currently don't have, because you do not have a former president or vice president alive. He's the only one we have alive.
Okay. The MPP have former. All right, Antonio. Who I'm, I'm, advises them. Mm, I'm, I'm grateful for, for joining us with those responses. Antonio is a spokesperson for the Dr. Kwabena Dufour uh, campaign team. We'll take it. <laughs>